Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial about how to use Desmos, the online graphing calculator, to help to create the graph for the skid mark analysis activity. Okay, so this is um, what you're seeing here is what you would see when you open up desmos.com slash calculator in your browser. It, there's a Desmos app for iPad if that's what you're using, or you can use it in Chrome or Safari or whatever browser is your choice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a table of values that we're going to plot on these axes over here. And then we're going, I'm going to show you how we can uh, start to put in a function or you know, like a, to, to actually graph a, a line that will describe this. So in order to add in a table of values, I'm going to go up to this, this menu in the top right hand corner where it's got table. I'm going to click and so now I've got X and Y values. Okay, so our X values in this situation are our um, our, uh, our speed values. Okay, so in kilometers per hour. Okay, so 0, 20, 73, and 90. And then, um, and so then for 0 kilometers per hour, we have a skid mark length of 0. As I'm putting in that second data point, you'll notice that some of these points will appear on the graph. We had a 2.2 meter skid for 20 kilometers per hour. Um, we have 31.0 meters for 73 kilometers per hour and 48.4 meters for 90 kilometers per hour. And so I, I can go over to the graphing area over here and I can zoom out and you can see that those data points have appeared on our graph. Okay, on our on this, this set of axes that we've got here. Now you notice that they don't really fit a straight line pattern. That we can draw a line of you know a straight line and try to kind of put it evenly through the middle, but you'll notice that the data points would be a very long way away from it. And so what actually is, is happening is that this relationship is what we say non-linear, not straight, uh, not a straight line relationship. Um, and so what we can do is we can add in a, what's called a function, or that is a, a, an algebra expression, to try and get a line that will best fit these data points. So we go down into this, we can click into this next box here. And so what we have is that this is a variation on y equals x squared. Okay, which is a parabola. Okay, but you notice that that blue parabola is nowhere near the points that we're actually after. Okay, um, and it also goes both sides of the, of the line. Um, uh, now, one thing that we, uh, so, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is how we can restrict it to only have a line on the right hand side of zero because we can't have, we don't have a negative speed. We can't therefore have, you know, have values over on that side of the line. And the way that you do that is you use little curly brackets which look like this. So I'm typing on a keyboard, obviously that makes things a little different. Okay, so I'm going to use the curly brackets and then this is how we restrict a function. I'm going to say the x, the, the, you know, the horizontal value must be greater than zero and then I'm going to close the braces, the curly brackets. So now let's know that, that that bit of the blue line on the left hand side has disappeared but it's still nowhere near our data points. And so what we're going to do is that we're actually going to write it, you're going to edit this function and we're going to put in a little a. Um, that is some number times x squared will give us the relationship we're after but we don't know what that number is at the moment and so what Desmos can do is we can add in a slider. So what that does is that we can on this slider we can move it up or down to adjust where that line goes but it's still a bit too like we're kind of getting there it's starting to get flatter and then it gets to nothing and then it drops down it's not really very useful what we can do is we can change the values that this slider goes between to get us um, closer to, to finding out so we click on one of the numbers and we what we want a to be between we want it to be between 0 and 0 0.01 because this value is actually going to be really small okay and so now I have a slider that gets me much more precise. Okay, and so then you're going to do that. You're going to move it across till you get it to the point at which the um, which it lines up with the data points as, as comfortably as you think it does, and then that will form our equation. Y equals that number times x squared. We can then use that expression to help us to find out the information we need um, for our questioned skid mark. So you can have a look at the actual the image, you can measure how long it would be based on the scale and then translate that into our graph. Now the other thing that we, that's really good with this is that we can zoom in or out, we can move the axes around. So you can see that beyond where this data point goes, we've got a, a bit of a pattern. 
Now, this doesn't fit the data. I want you to do that bit yourself. But the idea is that you can use this graph to, to build a, a trend. What happens if we've got a longer skid mark than the longest one we've measured? What happens then? Okay, um, the rest is over to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.